previously on 20 seconds in thailand road trip oh god we're on our way to malaysia m150 it's not my fault you're driving and then the monkeys were flying out of the spaceship aliens in 200 meters make a u-turn and as soon as you cross the border into malaysia there's a pizza hut awesome tired Just went to Malaysia today. It's been all day coming to Malaysia, going through the immigration and just traffic. Just got in the room. And the bathroom is kind of, kind of roomy. They don't really keep uh, the decor up, do they? Hmm. Yeah, literally. They deliver. Just never seen a backpack like that. At least everything's going very smooth. Right, Andreas? How's it going over there, man? Not so good. That's, oh, come on. It's just another night of uh, drinking beer in Malaysia, man. Let me explain. So here's what the deal is. We came to Malaysia this time, as I've said, for another little visa run and to get stamps and everything done. All right. Well, here's what's happened this trip. We found fish. Malaysia is a very, very popular little place where people go and do their uh, border runs. So we came here. Now, everything was fine until this morning when we got up. And brand new, brand new rule from Thailand Immigration started today. As of today, the requirement was you have to show your, you have to show your deed, your deed where you're staying which means your landlord or your hotel has to give you paperwork showing where you are, where you're staying, and you have to show your departure airline ticket. Not a reservation, not a, a copy. You have to show them the ticket that you have purchased to leave Thailand. The question I don't understand is, what if you didn't plan on leaving by air? What if you only planned on leaving by um, car back to Malaysia? like uh, just driving to Malaysia. What if you didn't? I don't know. I guess you would actually have to go to the embassy and explain your situation personally there because here what people do is you stay at the hotel and then um, a guy comes in, he collects your, your money, your passport, your paperwork, goes to the embassy, gives all the documents to the embassy and then he brings it back to you. So that's the service that they provide. But the service has changed today. So I have a laptop. Andreas only has an iPad. And anybody that owns an iPad knows it's kind of hard to get documents printed off sometimes. So anyway, all this brand new news made a two night trip so far into a three night trip. Where am I? Ah. By the way, off topic, there's some awesome murals here in Malaysia. I'm gonna show you real quick. Yeah, that's uh that's what's new here in immigration this week in the in the month of february 2017 brand new rules anyone that lives in thailand knows immigration does today may not be what immigration does tomorrow and it's not their fault you just got to do it where am i going they paint all over the place here That's where I stayed last time. But they didn't have him or him or her last time. They didn't, they didn't have these guys. They only had her and him. This will not be a lengthy video because the Wi-Fi where I'm staying, this video will take four hours to upload. I'm gonna even compress the file and it still takes that long. Bulging. All right. 
traffic here is a bit spooky. I'm just gonna go sit down and see if I can find better internet for you right now. Yeah, but yeah, mainly I wanted to say that immigration, you, they didn't even have the new rules posted online when we got here, it just was sprung on us. And everyone that does the surf, everyone that does the services were shaking their head too. They're like, today, they started it today. Nice little Indian restaurant here that I came here before and I remember they had decent Wi-Fi. I'm getting this. And voila. 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 Oh, very good, very good. So yeah, <clears throat> so yeah. <clears throat> so yeah, that was really good. The only thing was it was the bill. Everything over here in Malaysia is a little bit pricier, a whole lot more than Thailand at least. That was um, that plate of food, big plate of food with rice and two beers was basically 400 baht. A little bit, actually a little bit more than 400 baht. I could have eaten for three days probably on that money in Thailand. This little place. This little place has so much culture. I just want to show you the bathroom. I know it's gross, but look. I know some crazy stuff in here, so you can freeze this and read as much as you want, but whoa. This place has got so much stuff. Chunk. Can you take this asshole back to America, please? Oh, pretty goody. Don't forget that.